I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream. Indoor soccer, gaming club, and Miss Gilligan's Spanish Homework Club and the Silver Knights Chess Club are meeting. Good morning, MLK. It's Mrs. Ferriano with a very important announcement for those students who get to school and home on the Ride On bus. It used to be that you could use your school ID and your ride was free, but that is about to end. Starting November 1st, all students who would like to use the Ride On buses for free will have to get the Youth Cruiser Smart Trip card. In fact, it's such a great deal for young people that I recommend that everybody get it because that means you can ride the bus all over Montgomery County for free. So here's what you have to know. First of all, you need to get an application. We have those applications in the main office. There are also applications in the public library and online. That is step number one. Step number two is right now MLK is not a sanctioned distributor of these cards. We're working on that. Hopefully we can get that done. But right now, after you fill out the application, you have to bring that application to the Germantown Public Library or the closest public library. They all do it. And when you do that, because you're doing it at the public library, you have to bring a parent with you and have a birth certificate or some sort of proof of age and some sort of proof of residency, meaning that you actually live in Montgomery County. And that could be a school transcript or a letter with your ch the child's name on it, the student's name on it, or anything, any other state identification. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to happen November 1st, where your bus driver is not going to allow you to get on with your ID card. This, we're still in the grace period. Starting November 1st, you've got to have one of these cards. Otherwise, they might not let you ride the bus. If you have questions, you can Google search the Youth Cruiser card, or you can go to the public library, or you can come and ask me because I've done some research on it. But this is very important, and the forms are in the main office. So ride on bus riders, anyone who uses the bus system, please make sure you get this card so that you can continue riding. Skeleton Man by Joseph Bruchak. Dad had the best stories. One of my favorites was the one about the skeleton monster. He was just a human being at first, a lazy, greedy uncle who hung around the longhouse and let everyone else hunt for him. One day, alone in the lodge, waiting for the others to come home with food, lazy uncle burnt his finger really bad in the fire and stuck it in his mouth to cool him. Ooh, he said, as he sucked on the pig flesh. This tastes good. It tastes so good that he ate all the flesh off his finger. Ah, this is an easy way to get food, but I am still hungry. My niece, skeleton man, Whispered, Come into the lodge. I have been waiting for you. Your parents are inside. Come in and be with them. No, the little girl said. I will not come inside. Ah, Skeleton Man replied in his dry, thin voice. That is all right. I will come out for you. That's just a story my dad told. My reality has become much scarier. They said he was my uncle, but I had never heard of him. At night, he locks the door. What are my dreams trying to tell me? How can they save me?
Wow, that book Skeleton Man is really scary. If you think you want to hear about that book, I'm going to be doing a read aloud on, starting on Monday in the library during sixth grade lunch. So this is only for sixth graders. Sixth graders, if you want to hear the Skeleton Man book read aloud, then you need to come to the library and get a special Skeleton Man read aloud pass. I'm going to be giving out those passes on Monday morning. There are only 25 passes. So come early, because once they're gone, they're gone. And with that pass, you are going to be able to go to the cafeteria, get your lunch, bring your lunch to the library, and we'll be reading Skeleton Man. Now we're going to be starting as soon as everybody gets there, so you need to get your lunch and get into the library because I'm going to be starting about five, seven minutes into the lunch period, so we have the entire time to read. So it's going to be closed for everyone else for sixth grade lunch, special read aloud, Skeleton Man, starting Monday. Hey MLK, and you can see behind me this fantastic Martin Luther King Athletics Department t-shirt. What a fantastic decal. That panther, urgh, so scary. Well, if you think that shirt looks cool and you would like to purchase one of those shirts, you absolutely can. And what a great way to show your team spirit and your school spirit by purchasing an MLK shirt. They're really fantastic. So what's happening with that? The t-shirt, the proceeds to the t-shirt fund the athletic department. Where are you gonna get these shirts? Well, you'll get some information during homeroom from your homeroom teacher. The shirts cost $12, which is not a lot of money at all, quite honestly. And you can give the form and the, the money to your homeroom teacher to order one of these shirts. So they're for everyone. You know what? They make a great gift, parents, Maybe even buy one for your grandma. I know grandmas are really hard to buy for. Grandparents, they, they have everything. What a great gift to buy them one of your school t-shirts. And they're certainly good for every student and every staff member if they would like one of those shirts. So I'll tell you right now, if you're anybody who's anybody will be walking around in one of those MLK shirts because you know what? They're very cool. So ladies and gentlemen, consider yourself warned. You have until November 1st to order the shirt. So that's all of next week. So please help us out here. Support your school, support MLK Athletics, and order the shirt or else.